Did you know that when you think of futuristic cities, you may immediately think of Saudi Arabia's 100-mile-long city called the Line? But have you ever heard of the futuristic circular crypto city in the Caribbean? This city will have everything you'd expect from a future smart city, but here's the twist. It's all centered around Bitcoin. And if that doesn't sound crazy enough, the whole city is going to be powered by a massive volcano right next to it. Today, we will explore this insane mega project. Stay with us till the end to uncover all the incredible details that make this idea so fascinating. Crypto cities are indeed a relatively new and intriguing concept. What is a crypto city? In simple terms, when we talk about futuristic cities, they can mean different things. The most common idea is a city that uses special codes and methods to achieve different goals. For example, they might use blockchain technology to make the government more open and involve the people more. Now, when we talk about a Bitcoin city, it means something specific. In a Bitcoin city, they use the money they make from selling cryptocurrency to support the city. They also get their power from local sources, like solar or wind, and use it to create new Bitcoins. This way, they aim to bring in investments from around the world to help their city grow. Origin of El Salvador Bitcoin City The president of El Salvador, Nayib Bukel, has shared a plan for a city that will be funded with cryptocurrencies. This city will be built near a volcano in the country's southern coastal area. It's going to be located on the Gulf of Fonseca, not far from the border with Honduras. To pay for this city, they will sell Bitcoin bonds, and it will run on energy from the nearby Conchablo volcano. The idea for this city was first announced during a conference about Bitcoin and blockchain in Latin America in 2021. It's part of President Bucal's efforts to use Bitcoin in his country. Just last year, El Salvador became the first country in the world to make cryptocurrency its official money. And now the president wants to take a bigger step in the world of cryptocurrencies with this new Bitcoin city. Financing the Megacity To fund the city, El Salvador plans to borrow a billion dollars. They'll use this money to buy more Bitcoin and construct the city's infrastructure. Instead of using regular money, they will make sure to pay back their loans using Bitcoin. In May 2022, the government of El Salvador made its largest Bitcoin purchase ever. They bought 500 Bitcoins for an average price of $30,744 each. This happened when the price of Bitcoin had dropped by more than 50% from its highest point. According to Bloomberg, in 2021, El Salvador had acquired a total of 2,300 Bitcoins, which are now worth $74 million. This is less than the $103 million that President Bucal originally paid for them. El Salvador is hesitant to take on more expenses related to Bitcoin because they are worried about not being able to pay their debts. Invest with Masterworks People are going through tough times, and it's not easy to bounce back from their losses. This year, a staggering $13 trillion vanished from the stock market. To put that into perspective, it's more money than what Japan, Germany, and the UK earn in a whole year. These losses aren't just affecting El Salvador. They are a global issue. According to CNN, a whopping 72% of experts believe that the US might face an economic downturn next year. Because stocks are still struggling, investors are changing their game plan. They're turning to different kinds of assets like gold, real estate, and art. The New York Times points out that when stock markets go south, people often turn to investing in art. Art has historically shown an average annual growth of 33% during times of high inflation, as per Masterworks Art Index. Masterworks allows people to buy shares in multi-million dollar artworks, and they've already sold five paintings with an average net profit of 26.8% for investors, even as the stock market is experiencing one of its worst starts in 50 years. There's a huge demand for Masterworks. They have a waitlist, but you can jump it by clicking the link in the description for priority access. Construction of the City El Salvador's idea of building an expensive Bitcoin city raises some questions, but it's intriguing to see how they plan to make it happen. They're teaming up with Blockstream, a digital assets infrastructure provider, to get this city off the ground. Here's the plan. El Salvador will sell a $1 billion bond worldwide 
to gather the money they need for Bitcoin City. Half of that money, around $500 million, will be used to buy cryptocurrencies. The other half, also $500 million, will be used to plan and build the city's infrastructure. This includes setting up the equipment for mining and producing Bitcoin. Now, what makes this Bitcoin City different is that it will run on geothermal energy from a nearby volcano. This energy is not only used to power the city, but also to mine Bitcoin. Mining Bitcoin takes a lot of energy, and geothermal power is a clean and renewable source that comes from the volcano. But there's a catch. It might take five to seven years to gather enough geothermal energy for this project, and work on the volcano is already in progress. In fact, they've dug a well with 95 megawatts of geothermal capacity at the site. However, it could still take another two to three years before the plant generates electricity for Bitcoin mining. Geothermal power is easier to operate, but has long lead times. It's also about 25% more expensive than solar power and 82% more expensive than onshore wind. However, it can produce more energy than solar and wind, making it a cost-effective choice in the long run. While geothermal power has worked on a smaller scale in other places, making it work for an entire city will be quite a challenge. With that said, let's explore the different aspects of the proposed Bitcoin city and how its residents might benefit from it. Features of the city and benefits This crypto city has a circular shape, inspired by the design of a Bitcoin. It was created by a famous architect named Fernando Romero, the founder of the Free Architecture Studio. In May 2022, President Buchel showed a model of the city made in gold and called it Bitcoin City, saying it's progressing nicely. The model features a circular city spreading out from a central plaza with the Bitcoin logo. Buchel also shared pictures of landmark buildings, plazas, commercial and residential areas, and even a round-shaped airport. He also mentioned that there would be a huge circular viewpoint on top of the volcano. Despite the golden model, the actual city will mostly be green and blue, with a beautiful viewpoint on the volcano. This city is all about being environmentally friendly. It won't use fossil fuels for energy, so it won't produce harmful carbon emissions. El Salvador's big plan is to create a smart city that relies entirely on Bitcoin as its currency. And the best part is, there will be very few taxes. According to the president, there won't be income tax, procurement tax or city tax. The only taxes they'll have will go toward paying off the city's bonds and taking care of public infrastructure and maintenance. Criticism for Bitcoin City One of the biggest criticisms of the Bitcoin City project is how it's going to be paid for. Most cities around the world rely on different kinds of taxes, like property taxes, and use regular money to handle their expenses. President Buchel wants to change this. He wants the city to depend on the extra money made from cryptocurrency instead of taxes. But this idea hasn't been supported by international financial institutions, and it has caused problems with El Salvador's old bonds. There are concerns that El Salvador might not be able to pay back its debts. This is because the value of the country's debt went down a lot in April 2022, and now government bonds are worth only 40% of what they used to be. People are worried if El Salvador can pay what it owes in January 2023. On top of that, many people in El Salvador don't really know how to use cryptocurrency properly or they feel like they have to use it. Only about 20% of the population still uses the Shiva Wallet app, which the government made for cryptocurrency transactions. Despite all of this, President Buchel is determined to go ahead with the Bitcoin City project. Maybe in the future, other countries with volcanoes and a need for clean energy will look to El Salvador for ideas. We'll have to wait and see if this city actually happens. What do you think about this big project? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.